All right, this video is repeated addition versus multiplication, and we're going to take a look at how these two relate to one another. So I have a problem here. Sam has five cups. Each cup has two peanuts in it. How many peanuts does he have all together? Now I circled the word all together because that means it wants me to take five cups, one, two, three, four, five, with two peanuts in each and put them all together, combine them. That gives me the problem with addition. It tells me I need to use that operation in order to solve it all together, bring everything all together in one piece, wrap it all up. So here I have repeated addition. I have my five cups that Sam has. This is one cup, two cup, three cup, four cup, five cups. And in each cup, I have the number two. I could have just drawn two little dots which represented the peanuts. That's up to you. So I have repeated addition, which means I'm going to repeat addition. Two plus two, four plus two, six plus two, eight plus two gives me 10 peanuts total. Now if I was going to use that in a multiplication sentence or equation, I would have five cups times two peanuts in each cup, which will give me a total of 10. 10 peanuts with repeated addition, 10 peanuts with multiplication. I'm getting the same answer for both repeated addition and multiplication. Okay, here we have another problem. This is William. William went grocery shopping. We all do that. When checking out, he had four carts with eight packages each. How many packages does he have? Total. Now, I circled these keywords each and total because they tell me what to do. Just like in the previous problem where I said all together, total means the same thing. It means if I have some over here, and I have some over here, and I have some over here, what's the total of it all combined together? So here I have a little drawing, a little illustration. Here's my beautiful shopping carts, as you can tell. I have four carts, one, two, three, four, and in each of my carts I have eight packages, and I just put eight little green dots to represent the packages in each cart. Now, with repeated addition, I would say 8 plus 8 plus 8 plus 8. And if you do that, you have 8 plus 8 is 16, plus another 8 gives me 24, plus another 8 gives me 32. So if we repeat, we repeat and add, then we're going to get 32. 8 plus 8 plus 8 plus 8 gives me 32. On the other hand, if I wanted to make it simpler, instead of writing all this or drawing a picture, which you should always draw pictures to help you if you don't know the multiplication fact, I can do four times eight. Four carts, eight in each, how much total? Four times eight is 32. 32 with repeated addition, 32 with multiplication. I'm getting the same answer. This is called a product in multiplication. This is just my sum in addition. Okay, here we have our last problem. Annie wants to buy seven DVDs. Each DVD costs six dollars. How much money does she need to buy them? If she wants to buy all seven, how much money does she need? So here I drew a picture again, my beautiful DVDs, costing six dollars each. With repeated addition, I would add six up. How many times? How many DVDs? Seven times. 6 plus 6 plus 6 plus 6 plus 6 plus 6. I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 sixes to add up. One DVD is $6 plus another DVD is 12. Plus another DVD is 18. Plus another one is 24. Plus another one is 30. Plus another one is 6. Plus another one is 42. So if I add $6 up 7 times, I get $42, $42 I would need to buy, Annie would need to buy all these DVDs. And if I just use multiplication, my multiplication equation is 6 times 7, which equals 42 as well. 
So what do we notice? Pause the video for a second and I want you to think about what do you notice about each of our problems, whether it's repeated addition or multiplication. What are you noticing about the answers, the sums and the products as we work through each problem? So pause it for a second and think about what you notice. <clears throat> now that you've paused it and you thought about it for a second, we should notice that repeated addition equals multiplication. They are the same thing. Remember, when you use this equal sign, the thing on this side has to equal the thing on this side. Both the left and the right sides of the equal sign have to equal each other. They have to be the same. Repeated addition is the same thing as multiplication. So if I have 2 plus 2 plus 2, I repeated adding 2 three times. That's the same thing as 2 times, how many do I have? 3. Sum is 6. Product of multiplication is 6. Over here, 3 plus 3 plus 3, I repeated adding 3 three times. I have 3 times 3, 9. Sum equals 9. Product equals 9. Now, with the problems I've provided with you, I want you to practice these problems tonight and bring them into class tomorrow. Thank you.